Hi, I'm John Crossman and welcome to What Does a Video Cost? Uh, the burning question of the day, or at least for this series. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the first phase in any video project and that's called pre-production. Uh, pre-production is basically a word for planning. Any project of any size in any genre, whether it's building a house or building a car or planning a city, uh, you have this part of the project and that is where you develop the scope of the project. What is the video about? What elements do you want to include? Will it have narration? Will it have an on-camera talent? Are you going to be on camera? Do there need to be sets? So where is it going to be shot? Is it going to be shot in someone's basement? Is it going to be shot in a studio? Is it going to be shot outside? And of each of those things, where and who is going to be involved? Uh, if it has a script, uh, someone needs to write that, someone needs to find the sales points or the points of interest that you want to communicate in the video. They need to know what your audience is and then the script needs to be crafted in, in that way. Uh, you come up with your crew in the pre-production. Uh, is it one camera? Is it multi-cameras? If there's travel involved, you need to uh, know what the crew is going to be. You need to know how they're going to get there, where they're going to stay, what they're going to eat, that kind of things. One of the questions that's asked on one of these sites is, do you have a storyboard? Well, a storyboard in movies uh, can literally be like a series of animated pictures or very well-crafted pictures that show every scene. It's basically showing you what is going to be in your video when it's over. A quick note about storyboards. Um, don't get wrapped up in them having to look like what you just saw. Really, you can just uh, list out with as much detail as you can think of what you need in each scene to tell your story. It's extremely rare, uh, even on shows that are scripted, that I've seen an elaborate storyboard uh, like I just showed you on this video. Um, movies do it because the production can be so complex that they will pre -vis, what they call pre -vis. and if you've ever watched extras on DVDs, you know what I'm talking about. They'll go to great lengths and great expense to figure out how a scene will work because so much of the scene is generated on a computer that they need to see where the live action is actually going to fit in the frame and what angles it needs to be shot at and that kind of thing. So don't get wrapped up in having to create elaborate storyboards, but what you but what is helpful is even if you go through and you write down what each scene is going to be, what you see happening, you know, is there one angle, is there two angles, how many people are in the scene, and that kind of thing. And that can just be written. You don't have to worry about hiring an artist to do it, or you don't have to worry about your own artistic ability, because it would take a lot of time to draw out a storyboard, even for a simple video. Um, and so don't get so wrapped up in that. Uh, if I had storyboarded this video out, I probably wouldn't be talking to you on a different day with a different shirt. So that's the value uh, that I can just turn around and shoot this, but when you're actually doing your production, you need to have thought of all this stuff ahead of time. But for most uh, small productions, you're looking at a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks if some of the people or locations are hard to get a hold of. Um, and that's pre-production. And so when you leave pre-production, you now should be totally organized and ready to do your production, which will be the subject of this next video. So thanks for watching. I'm John Crossman.